Hello everyone, I cannot wait to share with you everything that I seen, all the food Ooh, that la, I la. tasted, and everything that we did in Mexico. I'm going to share with you first all the things we did, so all the activities and things like that. The second thing I'm going to share with you guys is I'm showing 10 places that we ate. So this is going to be so exciting and all of these places were pretty darn good. So there's only one that we're kind of iffy about, but I'll let you know which one that is. And I'll leave the links to all these that I can find so you can go check them out when you're, you're in Mexico next. And also I created another video talking about where we stayed and everything about that. And in that video, I give a whole review of the hotel that we stayed in. And so make sure you go watch that. I will leave that linked down below. It's an awesome video and the hotel was amazing. I think you guys are going to be shocked at what we paid per night at that hotel. So let's get into this video. So most of this video is about food and everything that we ate because the food was incredible. So first off, my husband did know some people that lived down there already, so they had given us some tips, some things to do, but most of the time we were kind of on our own because they live there, so they have jobs and they have things to do, so we kind of had to do things on our own. So we drove down there, we kind of took a road trip, and one of the things we did, just activity-wise, is we went horseback riding. This was so much fun. We were just driving down the street and we saw a place that you could go horseback riding and so we we're like, all right, let's do it. And so we just went in there and it was so easy. I think, I'm trying to think, I think it was like $10 each to go horseback riding, which um, is kind of sounds cheap, but to them, it's, that is expensive. It took us down to the ocean. It was so beautiful. The horses looked like they were taken care of beautifully. There was like a tour guide in front of us and they kind of took us for, I think it was like a mile. Um, it was just beautiful. The people who owned the horseback riding business were so friendly and so kind and so fun. But I would definitely say like, if you are from America, some, not all, people who live there, but some people might try to, um, no, who might notice that you are from America and try to get more out of you than you want to get kind of a thing. But, oh, you know, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. When we were on the beach riding our horses, we took a break and we let the horses take a break. And then we got these bracelets done by a man that was like, had his own business. Uh, gracias. Another thing that we did was we took a drive just to see what we could find and then we parked where we could find a parking place and we just went walking. We looked around at the ocean, we looked and went over on the hills. The nice thing where we went in Ensenada was this is kind of a town where a lot of tourists go and so there's a lot of people that speak English as well as Spanish. There is a lot of people who are just really, really friendly and then at the same time I feel like it's kind of homey. You feel like you're not alone, that there's other people from different countries, there's other people from the US and so it's very a uh, US friendly place. I Another thing we did, we just wanted to experience what the stores were like. What was the pharmacy like? And so we went into the pharmacy, we went into the stores, and we would grab some candy and some chips just to try different things. And that was a lot of fun as well. So maybe just, of course, stay safe. Um, you know, it's, you're not, this isn't your home. So always, you know, be responsible, stay, stay, stay safe, but, Maybe have a little fun. <laughs> but also, you know, it's kind of fun to just explore. Another thing we did was, like I said, my husband has friends there, so we went over to their house and he made a bonfire and we just kind of hung out. And it was right by the beach, so it was so nice and you could hear the waves. It was really beautiful. Another thing in Mexico, it gets really, really cold at night. Now, I'm not saying it starts snowing or anything, Definitely not that, but it does get chilly, so make sure you bring sweaters or a little jacket. I think a small jacket would be fine. 
And then I did want to add in here, we did get an Airbnb for the first place that we stayed at and then we had to switch to the hotel, which is the video that I made. I did not get like a video or pictures of the first Airbnb because this is why. So the Airbnb was so, so cold, especially at night, but even during the day, it was just, they didn't have any rugs. It was all like hardwood floors and not just hard wood, but what's that called? Like not cement, but the the floors were cold it was nice like it looked like a nice place nothing was bad like nothing looked broken nothing looked damaged there was a tv and everything was nice but i will insert a clip when i took a selfie of myself and you can kind of see like the floors and maybe a little bit more of what home looks like in mexico the first places that we ate out was a little bar place and we just went and we actually went with one of his friends and he suggested this place and so it was a lot of fun we got some oysters guys these oyster was these oysters were incredible i mean i've never tasted an oyster that was so fresh so good and then we got a pizza which is really good as well what else did we get i feel like there was more that's all i can think of but that place was awesome. It was really cool. It was like a brewery and they made their own fresh beer at that place. Those That was cool. Every place that I can find, I will leave it linked below so you can go check it out for yourself while you're there. So there's another place that we liked that was called Zoo Taza, I believe. And it was a coffee place. You can go in or there was also a drive through which is really cool. And it had really good coffee and I think it had like, it was like a cafe. So anything you can get at a cafe. We got tacos at multiple places. These tacos, again, guys, like you will taste the best tacos in Mexico. I mean, the flavor in these tacos, the flavor in the sauces and the salsa and everything. Phenomenal, amazing. You guys have to taste it. It's so, it was so like, Words can't describe how good it was. Um, so we also got tamales and we got fish tacos, we got beef tacos, oh, man, you're so good. So at each place that we went to, the tacos were a little bit different. Some was just a little bit different, all amazing, but some were just tasted different. Some served were some were served with beans, and then some were served with vegetables. Most were served with vegetables. Um, so I would suggest just trying different kinds of tacos at different places. So another amazing place, it was a place called, oh, what's it called? It was called Ochentos Pizza. And it was so good, guys. It was a brick oven pizza. And then of course there was like pasta that you could get and other things. Now, coming from where I come from, I know Italian food. So I was just kind of like, like pizza in Mexico, you know what I mean? Like, I'm here for the tacos, you know, kind of thing. But this pizza 
wow it really did blow me away it was amazing they also had it was also a winery and so they made their own wines and when you drive up to this place it's a little hard to find but getting there is so beautiful you kind of have to go through this highway and then there's a and then you go down this dirt road and there's like farmland but once you get closer you can start seeing the grapes and everything like that so it's so so beautiful and I love the way the this place looked it had lights and it was just so beautifully lit it was gorgeous <laughs> Another thing I loved about this place was there was a band and they had played songs in English and in Spanish which was pretty cool too. But this wine, it was so so good. It was just like it wasn't too strong and it wasn't too like sour. Uh, I just like my wine just like, I don't like it to feel like it's punching me in the face when I'm drinking it. I just like it to go down smoothly, you know. So that's why I loved it so much. I also wanted to include this little video when I was like going to the bathroom but I just thought it was cool when there was like a little thing of hay and so you could put the hay on top of like the toilet because it didn't flush I don't think but I don't know just thought it was like oh okay because I never saw that in the US so I was like why don't I just show the people <laughs> Another place we went to was to go get ramen. We went to two different places. The first place we went to, we got like this pork ramen, which we didn't know it was pork. And for some reason, we just didn't care for it. It was just kind of like oily. Um, just didn't, we didn't like the taste. But when we went to the second one, that was good. They gave you huge bowls of ramen and the noodles were amazing. You can put veggie, veggies in it. It was so good. They gave us so much that we had to pack us we had to pack them up and bring it back to the hotel. And by the way guys, all the food that we ate at the hotel will be in that review that I made for the hotel. And so make sure you go watch that because we made we had some wonderful and the food at the hotel was so good as well. So make sure you guys go watch that video. Oh, I almost forgot about this last place. So, we went to the sushi bar. Mm. like I was so shocked because I was like when I went to Mexico I was just thinking about tacos and Mexican food but then like the Italian food was amazing the pizza was amazing the sushi at the sushi bar was amazing one of my favorite things if you go to the sushi bar you have got to get this crab bowl I'm not sure what it's called I'm let me look online maybe i can find it but i had this really soft rice on the bottom and then it had this like mountain this mountain of crab fresh crab like full of flavor on top of the rice and then i think it had maybe like this cream sauce i'm not sure um guys like <laughs> I don't know how to describe this food because it was out of this world and I was just shocked like I can find this food in Mexico like Mexico like half of the most of the food that we ate was 10 times better at the sushi bar here in the US like it was just incredible the flavor was amazing and so we got these things and me and my husband just kind of ate them together and shared them ah oh, all of this food was amazing but that crab bowl with rice and then we got this homemade tea there and it was amazing they made homemade tea at this restaurant they cut in they put in like these peeled really finely peeled and like sliced orange peels i think it was it was but it was also like candied orange peels so good and then somehow they, like they frothed the top of the tea. I don't know if they used like a frother or if they somehow did it when they were making the tea. But this tea was good. You guys have got to try the tea. Okay, and then another thing we got was a coconut that was fresh 
fresh, fresh. <laughs> I don't know why I said that three times, but it was super fresh and you could pick and choose like what you wanted on top or if you just wanted like coconut pieces or if you just wanted like the coconut milk. So Kate just got a fresh coconut. Look at that. She drank the coconut water and then they made a, yeah. a nice They coconut. cut it in half, poured out all the coconut water. What else did they do? They put shrimp on it and put lime and salt and pepper and can you bring it over here so we can look at it better? Oh, sure. Out of the light? I don't know. It's all glowing in the dark from here. <laughs> there we go. How amazing. But they gave a separate bag of coconut that they took out of the coconut and they cracked it right in front of you. And then they shaved it and cut it up for you. And then it was the street that we got this coconut on was pretty busy. So my husband just parked the car and he ran out and went and got it. So that was another cool thing. If you guys get a chance, make sure you try different things. Really open your mind, really open your taste buds and just be open to the culture and the food. I think you're going to experience so much more when you're open to it. One of the last places that we went to was a French place. It was super good, pastries. Like I said, I will leave the links down below so make sure you check them down below to find these links to these places. But everything at this bakery was super fresh and I think they hit the nail on the head when they said French. Everything tasted like just really good quality. Like I was so, so surprised. And guys, the box that you're seeing right now, it was like, can you guess? Can you guess? If you want to take a guess, pause this video and leave your guess down below. Okay, so here we go. Did you pause it? Because I'm gonna tell you right now. It was all, I think like 10 bucks. It was like 10 to $15. And I think we got like one of each that they had at that moment. Everything just tasted like the flavors, the chocolate. There was an apple pie that we had was super good. There was cupcakes that were really soft and dense and yummy. There was, I think like they're called Neapolitans. There was nothing that was like terrible. There was nothing that had a bad flavor or bad taste. There was nothing that was like to cook too long or cooked not enough or baked not enough, I should say. Everything was like perfect, like perfect. It was so like cool just to have this food that was like, what? Like, I feel like the US is missing out a little bit. So another place that we tried was Tootie's Donuts. Um, it was good, but it was kind of like Dunkin' Donuts over here, you know? So it was kind of okay. Okay, the last thing that we got was ice cream. And so I don't think this was like the best ice cream that we could have got in Mexico, but it was good. It was, I forget what it was called, <laughs> but I'm sure I have a video so you guys can see. It was pretty good. It was kind of like, I guess, what would you say? I don't know, Hershey's maybe. Hershey's ice cream. I feel like Hershey's would better. I don't know. It was good, but I feel like the food that we tasted in Mexico, it could have been as good as that food if we found the right spot. But like I said, half the time we were just driving around and we found it, so we're like, okay, let's go. And I'm a Pretty good. What is it? Hmm? What does it have in it? Cherries and nuts. She said this is a, it's the most um, popular. popular in the store. I'm a with a waffle cone. It's pretty good. Is it? It's pretty good. Huh. What do you think? You wanna try it? I loved this, you know, talking with you guys. And so make sure that you talk to me down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you have any experiences, if you have any stories like I did going to Mexico, let me know down below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video because it helps out my channel and helps me know that you love this video. And also subscribe. This channel is not only giving you advice and just like joy and happiness every time I watch this video, but just also loving yourself. And if you love yourself, you want to improve yourself, right? And so that is my goal on this channel is to help you broaden your mindset and just help you with your energy, help you with with your self-esteem and help you with your jewelry and just your day-to-day, everyday to day things. But then also just like who you are inside. How can you make yourself happier? How can you make yourself more excited to wake up every day? You know, so that is what we talk about here and I hope you, if you enjoy this kind of things or if you're interested, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. But that is it for today. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.